What's up, my favorite Wolvians, Whovians, Vians, Vegans, Polys, uh, Quadra, Alien, Non Resident, Non Belligerent, Non Combatants, Nationals, U.S. Nationals, Non Citizen, all of you guys out there, except for that troll right there. You know, you three people who added yourselves to my. <laughs> my YouTube that are the only ones who ever give me the thumbs down on videos that don't make any sense why you would put a thumbs down when it's me talking about how I feel about something that's factual because it came from me I don't I don't get it but all the rest of you guys love you guys <laughs> alright so what is this video about alright well before we get there thank you guys for supporting the channel thank you guys for telling your friends and for tuning in every week you guys are faithful man I'd start to love you, but then if I did, you might leave me like my ex-girlfriend. Mm. <sighs> ah, well. <laughs> Alright, so what is this video about? Well, this topic came across, and it's in the area of the bad wolf, but not exactly a direct thing. We try to stay out of this aspect, which is why some of these videos will be on the other channel more so than this one. But I didn't want to bring you this, because I don't know, it just tickled my fancy. All right, here we go. So it says, three Ohio judges die unexpectedly in nine-day span after the vax mandate in uh, Su Cuya Cuyahoga County. Look it up for yourselves, guys. Can't make this stuff up. So let's see what they have to say. You ready? All right. Cleveland, we know, we know that vaccines are a leading cause of coincidences, but injections are also related to a lot of karma in 2021. Woo! Photo by Mike Russell. So hands off or head over to the, the COVID blog. Uh, give them credit for this. Um, we wrote a story about an Ohio judge mandating mRNA and viral vector DNA injections as condition of probation. As a condition of probation, they're trying to say that you have to do this as sentencing for criminal defendants. Franklin County Columbus Judge David uh, Matia sends at least three people to injections at the time of publishing. Well, that technically could be sending somebody to death or a permanent, you know, life paralysis or health impact events. Uh, I think the Constitution might need to, the Supreme Court might need to look at some of this stuff here. Um, said, said county issued a vaccine mandate that went into effect last week. All 1,400 Franklin County employees were required to show proof of Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson injection last week or be fired. So what happened to the 15 day to settle this and it'll blow over to now masks aren't good enough and you have to take this shot or be fired? Now remember this is educational information only. This is for entertainment purposes the stories are true but do your own due diligence okay so but the instant story in Cayuga Cuyahoga County Cleveland two judges Peter Corrigan and David Matia were featured in a July story sentencing blah 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 blah, blah. okay so here um, Nancy McDonald is no longer with us after taking the very same shot that she was issuing to criminals and belligerents and combatants US citizens interesting coincidence hmm wonder um yeah she did some stuff trailblazing blah 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 it says here you know just that she did have a trans see they're trying okay so they're saying that she had a transplant but that was 12 years ago Okay, we're trying to say that might have been a factor, and it could have been a factor. I just know that, as a matter of fact, if she probably wouldn't have taken that very same thing that he was issuing other people. Okay, let's go on. Joseph Russo, okay, uh, he died on October 2nd. So the first one was September 28th, all right after getting this. That's why the, that's why the, 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 uh, um, Author was like, coincidence? Karma? Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so, this guy right here, yep, October 2nd. 
And this guy right here, Larry Jones, one look. Um, Eighth District Appeal also died on October eighth. All right, and as of right now, there's nothing, no other official reasonings. And the coincidence, come on, three at the same time, the same week, they all took the same. Mm, karma or something there. I don't know. Anyway, so now, obviously, separate from me, this is what the author of this file on the COVIDblog.com, which, uh, thank you for letting me use your materials, even though it's out in the public. I'm just giving you kudos. <clears throat> so they went on to say, is it, could this be a power grab? Okay. Well, I don't really see how they could target, well, let me say, officially, I don't see how they could specifically target people um, to make this a power grab, at least within there. Because if you go from there further, now you're talking about specifically engineered shots on a genetic level that would cue, that could be activated per person. Which that's, not to say that that technology doesn't exist, but it is more so likely that they just all happen to have a really bad reaction to what was in any of those particular shots is what it probably is in my my perspective okay then so for here um they got a list thing here with contact covid legal usa okay so covid legal usa today contact them if you're fighting against mandatory vaccines for employment we also assist people with pro se representations related to uh covid mandates and restrictions follow us on telegram and twitter now obviously i'm not for or against anybody out there but this is information if it happens to fit you then you should probably take part in it if not then do your own thing do your own due diligence as always um and let's see now i've seen some side things over here that look pretty uh, jazzy let's see what they got to say over here okay so not only was it just those three but it says Richard Rowe, 41, a formal Florida congressional candidate uh, who told anti-vaxxers, I don't give a S what happens to you. <laughs> oh my God, this, this is fire. Guys, this is live. I, I did not, I'm not rehearsing. This is, okay, so, this, so that's what he said, right? And then he died seven weeks after getting the, the from the P, okay? The PF. All right. So Valerie Milford, 20 year old Australian woman, develops uh, pericarditis after or partial paralyzation three days after it. Um, Casey Hodgkin, 23, uncontrollable convulsions after the PF. Uh, ugh. A girl in Minnesota develops uh, ulcer six days in her hoo hoo. Um, and then over here they've got some information which I can't validate the numbers, so that's I'm not I'm not here to do that. Um, but then for those of you guys who know what's going on with our local local hero here, Rogers in the uh, good old Midwest, um, he he was supposed to have taken his, you know, and he didn't, and now he caught the COV one ninety. And uh, so the big story there is that, oh, well, you said that you already took it. Now, all I can say is this. Whether he said he did or didn't, everybody has the right to either take it or not take it. Okay, as a U.S. citizen and a U.S. national, you live in the private and the public, you can choose which one you want to exist in. Um, at the time, he might have been um, naturally immunized, you know. Uh, I don't know. All I can say is this. Like, nobody... And I mean nobody should be able to force anybody to do anything. And so, but if you consider yourself to be a U.S. citizen and you are truly a federal employee, then you're, you are supposed to uh, abide by that. Now, what's also interesting is all the cops out there who don't want to take, you know, the shot, and yet they're the ones who tell other people, stop resisting what you're being told to do. Right? Okay. But, you know what? We're still on your side. Good ones especially, and even the bad ones. You know why? Because as Americans, we're saying the same thing. We understand. Okay? 
We understand that when a higher authority is telling you to do something you don't want to do and you're not breaking the law and you have the right to do these things, whether it's under the Constitution or whatever else, we stand by you. We American Nationals stand by your decision whether you want to get it or not. Because if you shouldn't be forced to because you can always wear a mask. If masks work, then we should be able to just wear a mask. All right? So uh, when you guys are out there doing your job, how about giving, giving some of us people a little bit of a break? And the good ones out there, keeping on the bad ones, all right? Because we're doing what we can, but we need your help. Drop some of those little um, uh, notes into the, uh, you know, the ones who police the police. Anyway, so, but we stand with, we stand with all people, all Americans, um, on having the right and the freedom to choose. That's all. But for those people who are true U.S. citizens and federal employees who want to comply, then, well, then you comply. Great. But everybody should have a choice. All right? It's all about knowing jurisdiction. So, but even in the private jurisdiction, which is the U.S., which is displayed publicly, I think they should have the decision, too. That's all. Talk to you guys later.